So Anne's been with us a long time and over that time it's been a struggle to get Anne to leave the house. She would never ever get in a vehicle. Trying to build up trust with Annie was an issue um, and trying to get her to choose new things or try new things. Um, so we were very lucky that we started an intensive interaction pilot project with Lucy and through that we started building up a lot of trust with Annie and breaking down some of those barriers so she would go for longer walks and she would do more things with us and she would be a bit more assertive even in the house to make choices about things. Um, and I think it's through that, breaking down those barriers and then making trust and the fact that Annie's got a team that supports her that have been there for quite a long time, um, that she's managed to now make decisions for herself and try new things. About 18 months ago-ish, we went away to Hastings for a long weekend and we borrowed the minibus from another, another house. And whilst away on that holiday, seeing how much she enjoyed it, enjoyed going out, enjoyed the beach, enjoyed going sort of in shopping centres and being around people and she was quite happy to watch people and you know, see people with babies and children and stuff like that and the smiles that she used to have. So on the return from the holiday we kind of had a discussion and we thought, oh, we'll buy a little step because Annie's slightly shorter than most people. They put the step down and she was a little bit hesitant at first but she just got in. And it was kind of a case of, OK, where are we going to go? We're just going to go. We're just going to go for a drive. And we, they drove around and then they took her for tea in a garden centre. Not so long ago, Annie went to the Look Ahead group. <coughs> and it was a pamper evening. Now, Annie loves having her nails done. But the minute the doors opened and she saw all the people, she was sort of like walking in, sitting down, trying to find a place, wanted to see the new place. She'd never been in the building before, so it was a case of let's wander around the garden, let's see who's here, let's go in the kitchen, sit down, have a cup of tea. She was meeting people, she was happy to see people. She sat down, she had her nail, hands all pampered and then she went and had her face done. But she was really settled just to sit there and watch, watch what everyone else was doing. Um, and then we painted her nails there and everything else. But she, we'd only planned on being there for about an hour, an hour and a half. We ended up staying for two and a half hours. And then when Annie was ready to go home, she made her way to the front door to let me know that she wanted to go. But her face when she came home that evening when we walked back in the house was an absolute, just a brilliant smile, brilliant, brilliant smile.